In this video, we will discuss linear independence and dependence and how to find a linearly independent subset of a set of vectors. We say the vectors v1 through vn are linearly independent if the only way to obtain zero as a linear combination is if all of the coefficients are zero. In other words, equation one only has a solution when all alphas equal zero. This is sometimes called the trivial solution. If v1 through vn are not linearly independent, we say v1 through vn are linearly dependent. Thinking about equation one some more, we see that the trivial solution, where all alphas equal zero, is always a solution, and therefore equation one is always consistent. Thus, the vectors v1 through vn are linearly independent if and only if equation one has a unique solution, which occurs only if the augmented matrix whose columns are v1 through vn has no free variables after row reduction. Let's look at an example. Are the three vectors listed linearly independent or linearly dependent? To decide, put the vectors in an augmented matrix with zeros in the last column, and row reduce. Since the third column is a free variable column, we know that there are infinitely many ways to obtain the zero vector as a linear combination of the given vectors. Therefore, there is a non-trivial way to obtain the zero vector as a linear combination, and so these vectors are linearly dependent. Let's consider another example. The procedure for deciding if these three vectors are linearly independent or dependent is the same. Put them in an augmented matrix and row reduce. We see that there are no free variable columns and therefore the only way to write zero as a linear combination of the given vectors is if each coefficient is zero. Thus, these vectors are linearly independent. What if we wanted to find a maximal linearly independent subset of a set of linearly dependent vectors? That is, a subset of linearly independent vectors that's as large as possible. Consider the given set of vectors, which we know by the standard procedure to be linearly dependent. We might guess that the first two vectors are linearly independent. And, indeed, putting them in an augmented matrix and row reducing, we see that the set consisting of only the first two vectors is linearly independent. And, since adding the last vector to this set would make it linearly dependent, this is the largest subset that is linearly independent. Therefore, it is a maximal linearly independent subset. Is it a coincidence that by removing the vector corresponding to the free variable column of our augmented matrix, we found a maximal linearly independent subset? The answer is no. Row reduction is based on pivot columns, and erasing free variable columns won't change any of the row reduction steps. Thus, if we started with an augmented matrix where vectors corresponding to free variable columns were erased, after we row reduce, we would see we only have pivot columns. This gives a procedure for finding a maximal linearly independent subset of a given set of dependent vectors. First, write the vectors as columns of an augmented matrix, then row reduce, and then pick the original vectors corresponding to pivot columns of the row reduced matrix. Let's try this on an example. First, we put the vectors in an augmented matrix and then row reduce, and we see the second, fourth, and fifth columns are the pivot columns. Therefore, a set consisting of the second, fourth, and fifth vectors would be a maximal linearly independent subset. 